I was uh, working here and I decided to try to use the blade a little bit to get the majority off of it. It's, it's kind of hard to see uh, through the camera, but there's actually like little micro etched layers through here. And you can almost kind of see it right through here. And uh, I got to make sure and, and get as much of this corrosion off of here and get it fairly smooth as possible. So I'm kind of doing a, a rough mechanical scrape with my uh, blade here half you know I don't know what they call it just kind of half moon blade just kind of go back and forth just gently scraping it as much as possible not too hard because you don't want to break through like that as long as it's on top it's easier to tin and I may have broken through right here I'll have to go look at it no oh, no oh, that's copper okay you can, like I said, you know, there's there's like little valleys and stuff in here from from the different layers, uh, different times of corrosion through it. So, anyways, you don't need to sit here and watch this whole process. I think you can figure it out. Just kind of take your time with it and scrape it and get as much as you can. Then you could probably hit it with some uh, alcohol and some wet dry sandpaper to uh, kind of finish it off. Then you can go back and lay a tin on this to uh, build it back up a little bit and then probably put some uh, either hemocell or some uh, uh, epoxy on it to reseal it so it won't corrode again. And then we'll drop in our new battery holder. So, anyways, let me get to this. I'll do some more and then show it to you. Okay, I've went ahead and zoomed in a little bit on this and let's see if I can't zoom in any further in here and see if I can get you a good thing. This is about, I think, 400 times. Let's see if my uh, camera will focus on it. There we go. So you can, uh, you can really see where it just literally ate the copper right off the board here. So I'm gonna have to go in and lay a piece of copper in here and, re and repair all this. And here's, uh, I'm not even sure what it is. I guess it's, it's part of the corrosion. It's, uh, some carbon or something in here so I'll have to go in and take all this off with uh, uh, some, some uh, somehow to get it you know, some paper or something but uh, as you can see it's a uh, it's on there pretty good so anyways uh, let me go ahead and zoom back out there's uh, the majority of the corrosion removed I, I have a little bit more up in here in these areas to get off. Anyways, let me get this uh, done up here and uh, cleaned up a little bit more and then see if I can't free tin it. All right, uh, looks like the only thing I had was some 320 uh, emery cloth in the shop, so I'm gonna go ahead and try that and just uh, use, my, use some alcohol on it and uh, my fingernail to kind of pinpoint where I want it to to uh, clean at and I'm gonna be gentle and go back and forth sorry about the finger in the camera it's, it's a little hard to uh, to show this maybe I could show it sideways like this if I just lift the board up a little bit might not focus properly but you'll get the idea do little circles and back and forth up and down diagonal and it's a little bit of alcohol Well, she's uh, cleaning up. Let me get it focused here. Here we go. Starting to clean up. I have to get that nice and bright like this over here, or, or as close to it as possible, and maybe some flux acid, you know, the RMA flux, uh, may remove uh, some of the, the little finer pits like this right in here. Uh, let me see if I can show you. Like, Maybe it'll remove some of the stuff up in here you know where it's nice and clean and then where it's a little little cloudy uh, little pits and stuff maybe the flux will eat it out I don't know I may just do a test and, and check it but uh, let me get the rest of this cleaned up okay I've done quite a bit of cleaning and uh, the corrosion is a lot deeper uh, as I kind of suspected and you can see I've actually placed a light under the board and you can see little pinholes of light coming through here and this is not necessarily a pinhole there, but uh, it's pretty uh, it's pretty bad. So uh, what I've decided to do 
is to uh, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this right here up here around this and then down here and I'm actually gonna put a flat piece of copper over this I'll go ahead and tin all this and I'm basically gonna replace this and then some of you say well why don't you just leave this in here and then cover it up and then do that well the, the reason is is because capacitors are two uh, plates close together separated by a dielectric it can be air it can be paper it can be paper with some kind of impregnated acid in it uh, it can be all kinds of different things you know plastics or whatever so if I left this metal here and I covered up with a piece of copper what would happen is, is these areas that are um, not uh, connected to it and kind of floating between it can become like a capacitor and it can generate noise on the board whether it would affect the board or not I don't know I don't want to take the chance so I'm gonna go ahead and square this out and uh, I'll drop eyelets in here and then I'll flow it around and make sure it stays down I think that's going to be the easiest way to fix this corrosion problem.